what's up beautiful people welcome back to another video in this video i will be preparing some aki and saltfish and fried dumplings with that being said if you're not yet subscribed to this channel and you're loving the videos why not click the subscribe button and become a part of the greedy gang and click the bell to be notified every time i post so the first thing i did was to put my salted codfish in water and i'm going to boil it for about three times changing the water each time just to remove most of the salt from it and in the meantime i'm going to make the dough for my fried dumplings so now that i rub the butter into the flour until it becomes like a bread like consistency i'm just going to add the baking powder and the salt and mix that together and then i'm going to add a cup and a half of water these are simple ingredients but together they really taste good so now I'm just forming a well in the middle of the uh, flour mixture and then I'm going to add some water um, in the well and I'm going to knead the dough for about six minutes or so and as soon as it comes together and you know you don't want to over knead the dough because you want a nice soft dough so that the dumplings are you know soft when you're finished frying them. You know you can see how nice little dough has come together so after this kneading process I'm going to cover the dough with a dishcloth and allow it to rest for about eight minutes you not know, just for the gluten to relax and the starches to absorb the water so the resting period is up and I'm going to form the dumplings into the desired shape I want them to be bigger than usual because I plan to stuff them with the ackee and saltfish To make the dumpling is a simple technique. You're using your thumb to fold the dough onto itself and with that same hand slightly turn the dough so the next area on the dough becomes available to fold as you use the other hand to assist in keeping the dough together and forming it. One thing to note, not all the steps are necessary if you're not going to stuff your dumplings. So after rolling the dumpling between your hands and it forms a ball, you can stop at that point. So now I'm going to fry my dumplings for about 8 minutes, um, 4 minutes on each side and then I'm going to turn them on their sides just to ensure that they are properly cooked through. Come on, look at the color, look how golden brown they are, how can you resist such a beauty? For all the people who would have mush up about 4 or 5, I understand, I totally understand. So here I'm just adding about 2-3 to three tablespoons of oil and I'm going to saute all my veggies. I have some thyme and I chopped up an onion, tomato and 2 stalks of green onion. And then I'm just going to stir that together. 
Then I'm going to add uh, my salted codfish. Stir that together well and add some garlic powder and all-purpose seasoning. And remember, if you like this recipe, you can check the description box below for the recipe. So I've allowed the sawfish to cook a little with the veggies and now I'm going to add two cans of ackee and season it with some black pepper and some salt and I'm going to gently toss together everything because I don't want to, uh, my ackee to break up any further because it's very soft. So when I'm done mixing everything together, I'm going to cover the ackee and allow it to simmer for an additional 3 to 5 minutes just to let everything come together and then I'm going to stuff the dumplings. And yes, that's the best part of the show. So just go and watch and enjoy yourself. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this one and don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel and share my videos with your friends and family so they too can see what Greedy Girl Anne is cooking up over here. I'll see you in the next video, in the next video.